Good morning YouTube, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to try and do a first hat cam uh, flight review of um, a quadcopter. This one and it's the Esheen 3D X4. If you uh, watch my previous YouTube clips, you would have seen that um, this one actually arrived um, dead. One of the uh, little wires, a red wire from one of the motors were actually loose and I actually when I opened the canopy, I had to do my first soldering job um, and managed to do it correctly. Um, it's now working. Um, it's it's a bit of a, a sensitive quad vis. It doesn't um, like any bumps or crashes when the, the sensors goes out and you have to switch the, the plug out and or put the plug off and switch it off and put the controller off and rebind it and then it seems to be working fine until it loses its bearings again but let's try okay, let's put it into 100% rates it's a bit windy outside I'm not sure if this thing will fly outside but let's have a look let's go uh, okay. let's see what it does see it's turning on me it's actually I'm not turning it it's actually doing it itself I need to correct it over time It's, um, it's actually quite nice really, I'm actually in two minds about this little thing. It's, it's sensitive and it doesn't always want to fly as you want it where it goes more, turns more than I wanted it to do. But it's, uh, it's, capable, it's still holding its own in the wind. It's getting closer. Try a uh, oops, wind staking it. See, it's turning, it's doing your on its own. It's always doing it to the right hand side for some odd reason. I think it's the controller itself. I think the, the rudder controller, and I think the rudder. Um, it's see, it's turning itself. I must correct it. It's a bit of a weird one, but I mean, if it's working, there it goes itself again. Uh, I have to keep correcting it. Obviously this thing is, is capable of flying inverted, but I oi, try to get it back down before I lose it over the wall. Oh, oh, come up, go up. Oh. Okay, again, uh, the sun will quickly get it up on the table again. Oh, jumped on it. Oh, oh broke it. Actually broke it now by stepping on it. Uh, well, let's see. Maybe it still flies. Let's go to 100% again. A bit more wobbly. <laughs> it actually fixes itself. Oh. Oh. And oh. oh. Uh, lost it. Let's try it again. Oh, 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 that was so close, that was over the wall. <laughs> that was very close off, I would have gone fetch it. That's inverted. I'm not going to try too much of this version flying because it screws my mind up because the controls is all the other way around. So, uh, well, even though that motor part at the bottom is broken, I probably can see if I can glue it. Um, I will... Uh, oh, flies. Sorry, I'm probably not in shot, so hopefully this, I get something in the camera. It's not doing too bad in the wind. I didn't think it's going to do... be able to do anything in the wind, really. This thing's uh, your also changes by if you uh, setting the rates. It's on, be, it changes from uh, the twenty percent, sixty percent, I think, and hundred percent. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it is. A free rates, but it's got a decent enough your. I'm 
I still think this looks like an angry bird. Okay, let's go again. Relatively okay. Sometimes uh, it just needs to be sat down again uh, to recalibrate itself, I think. Sometimes that's still a, a weird one. This um, I'm not so sure what I really think about it, but it's actually, like I said, it's, I'm in two minds. I actually sort of like it, um, but as well, it actually, uh, it's, if it works well, it's actually a very nice fly, and you can actually start doing banking turns like that, which I normally can't do. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't crash. Uh, let's have a look and see. Oh, oh. Oops. Yankre. Oh, sh In the swimming pool. <laughs> there it is. A wet Isheen 3D X4 after being in a swimming pool. Actually, when it was still in the water, it actually still managed to... Uh, the LEDs actually had a flicker. It actually went, went uh, on and off. So it probably lost the signal from, from a controller, which is obviously me. <laughs> I'm very keen actually to see what happens if I... No ways. <laughs> Out of a pool. Still working. <laughs> what an awesome little quad. Oh, you know. What an awesome little quad, it still works after a dunk in a swimming pool. Wow, let's see if we can fly some more. Okay, let's try again, let's see. Uh, as you can see, it's wet. <laughs> it's soaking wet from uh, the pool, the swimming session. So, uh, let's see. Oh, there it dies on me. It was promising, it actually looked like it wanted to still to work. Uh, maybe it's just because the battery is flat. I just think the battery is flat, that's probably why. Thanks Ian for bringing me the towel. I think what I'll do is, I'm gonna go and charge it quickly. I'm not gonna dry it out with anything. I'm just gonna leave it, I've got another way, one on the way anyway. So this is nice to test with the durability of this thing, <laughs> but I think it's going to work. Let's just put this off and then let's just try and see quickly if it still binds. See the LEDs is flashing. See there, it's flashing still. Let's see if electronics put the uh, on. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's working. But I think it's just a LVC which is now kicked in. Oops, it's a bit wonky. Uh, it's probably because of this pod. Yeah, it's broken. Let's see if I can fly. Uh, it's low battery. So I'm going to try and um, re recharge it. Yeah, it's flashing. I'm going to try and recharge it and then I'll see if I can do a follow up. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.